season 81. And today I thought we'd, we'd have a change. Uh, instead of a, a mill in Norfolk, uh, I now camper up to scamper up to uh, Scotland, and I think we'd like to paint the Eileen Donan Castle, which is in the Cal of Loch Alsh. It's uh, it's got it built built in about the thirteenth century. And it's it's an iconic place in Scotland. Everyone wants to visit it, and it's it's the most photographed place I've seen in the world. But uh, but we we'll try and paint it and see what happens, shall we? And it's 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 surrounded by majestic mountains, and uh, and and it's just a lovely, lovely spot. So let's let's have a go, shall we? So the colours I've chosen to start with is uh, there on the screen. It's a raw sienna or ochre. Uh, number two is ultramarine, and number three is the ultramarine and burnt umber. Less of the second colour because it almost to stay bluey. So the heavy, I'm turning to a heavy sky this time. Let's see how we go. Well, I like to experiment in this job. So, where we go? We've got a nice clean sheet there. I've, I've mixed my colours, not the other three colours I mixed. I'll just point them out to you. There they are. There's the burnt umber and ultramarine, there's the ultramarine, and there's the raw sienna. So that's that. Oh, and now there's a brush to put a mob with. Clean water. That's just a, do a touch of random water on, on the sky. And see how we go. Touch your blue into there. I put some masking fluid on there, by the way, just to protect the mountain there. So it's nothing. Uh, it's not anything special. Just a bit of masking fluid. The light today is coming from the right. Thanks for starting. I think I'll put some light. It's too nice, so we're going to, we're going to go in with this French ultramarine and burnt umber mixed together. Make that sky a bit more interesting, shall we? So just roll it in. Let the brush do the job. You keep out of it. Dark down near the horizon there. I want to, this, this is snow capped on the top there, so it'd be nice if we got some of this dark on there, wouldn't it? That would be really nice. Heavy cloud formation there. I'll have to change my mind halfway through and change what I'm going to do in it. it. It keeps me really on my toes. I 
That should be all right now. Better take some of that weight off of that. Well there. Yeah, that's that's a nice, nice heavy sky. Next thing I do, I'm going to take some of this this masking fluid off off the what's been protecting the mountains. Just whip that off. Shouldn't take long. Where's your fingers out? But not not to worry. And that mill I did uh, on the last lesson, lesson 80, was in the Norfolk countryside, which I couldn't remember the name of. Some kind lady has emailed me and told me what the name is. And it's Burr, Burr Mill, B-U-R-G-H. Burr Mill, and it's on the River Bure, B-U-B-U-R-E. So now, if you're wondering, if you're curious, we found out thanks to that lady. And the lady was in America, California. And what beats me is how, how she knew, and, and, and none of us in Norfolk knew what <laughs> no, name it was. I probably couldn't be bothered. Anyway, we know what it is now. So everything I've said on the on the video is wrong because it's now named right clean now these mountains let's see what we're going to do with these these mountains that they've said they're snow capped so we have to I'll use a number 10 brush on this and keep protect the snow where it is and let's put the some of the the, the browns as we go and this little one at the back first I think we'll do that first because that's that's further back, isn't it? So let's let's pop that in first and keep it in the distance. This is the ultramarine. I'll touch that on that. Just see if we can, we can put some snow. The lights from the right. Don't forget that. So we'll just put a, a pale colour in that in. the crevices and stuff like that into it as it comes down into the, into the valley there it gets darker so I'm going to use some of that burnt umber there what we've used in the sky let's see if that's another trick and I've added some blue to it because I want it to stay in the in the distance I don't want it to jump out at me So it's using the brown, but but not not jumping out. It's just there. I don't want to too much in that distant mountain. Because these, these are more important. As I said, we, when we're looking at these paintings, we should look as, a, as three dimensional. So that's, we've got to create that as in the distance, then we're coming up further towards us. So forget that one now. We'll sort it out afterwards. Any shadows or anything like that. Let's tackle this, uh, this one on the right, I think. The left, sorry. I don't want the left on my right. So it's still got snow on the top of it. But not a lot.
comes down towards the base of the the mountain there, there's no snow on it. So it's like a, a, a brownie, brownie stuff. There's some bushes in the foreground, so we don't need to paint behind that. Still see some under this under this archway of this this bridge there. that for a bit now. We'll tattle this other mountain. Leave the snow on the top where we've, we've got it white and that and protect it. We'll start putting some uh, some colour of the mountain coming down there. Some, you might get a, a broken effect. Let's see how we go. This is the snow, but be careful with the snow. It's how to keep its freshness as I bring it down. There's a ridge of snow on the top here like this. That's painting the shadow side. Another shadow here. Another one down here. Butt up against the snow that's coming down there. That side will be in shade. Bridge there comes across behind the castle.
dark crevices there. That side of the hillside might go round into, into shade somewhere there. Let's just see if I can recreate a touch of that. That's this one here. I don't want it too, too full on the colour. I think we'll lose the snow at the, at the, at the horizon here, so we'll, we'll, we'll paint this. We'll colour this in, if you like, this, this section here with a blue tinge. Still on most of the sky colours, aren't we? We want to use the same colours as what we've got in the sky, so we're not we're not we're not jumping all over the palette. Just a touch of brown into that there, just to. I'm talking about shadows up. The light's coming from the right. We're going to get a suggestion of shadow. On this side here, just here. I don't want it too strong. But I think that's, I'm starting to fiddle now. I don't, I don't like that. Stop. Stop fiddling. I think we want to. I'll put this this water in as well, yeah, because this is, this is going to represent similar to what's in the sky, isn't it? So we'll, we'll, we'll just pick up some nice water. Same colours as what we use in the sky, because what's upstairs is downstairs as well, isn't it? Bit of brown in it just to darken it down. See how we go with that. Quite a few straight lines in this.
darken that water a bit in the foreground just to give me a bit of depth. All I've done is add a, a bit less water and a, and a touch of burnt umber and some ultramarine blue into that. Just to give me a... Bring it towards me a little bit. Right. Now we'll do the twiddly bit, shall we? The, the, the castle. There's a bush just to this side. And I think there's another bush, but we'll, we'll sort it out as we go along. That bit of brown's bothering me. I, I, it, it's, it's, it's not in keeping with the painting. So I'll, I'll, I'll shift that. Still a bit brown, but yeah, it'll do, I think. We'll try a bit of that in there. That kills it off a bit. Yeah. Right. Now we've got, to, we've got a bit of a, a, a bush affair there coming down to the, the water's edge here. And. Uh, and then we've got castle. Well, there's, been some, there's been some greenery on this bit here. Let, let's, let's get mixing. And uh, we've used the three main colours. Then I'm going to introduce some uh, uh, cadmium yellow onto this. Shall need a lot because it's only a, a bit of a tree and a bush down. I don't want to be too light because it's, it's a bit of a dark picture. That's cadmium yellow with some winter blue red shade onto that that greenery. A bit more of that. Have a look. That should be alright. And let's put a bit of greenery on this, yeah. Nice juicy dark in the bottom. More more winds of blue in there, just to darken it. It's too it was too pretty. The lights on the right, don't forget. And it darkens will be on the left a bit. I'll leave that first, I'll leave that for a bit now. Let's uh, let's concentrate on the castle now. Now castle, I've, I've, I'm, I'm painting uh, raw sienna. That's a nice transparent colour. Just test it, make sure that, that, that there's 
thickness of it is right. That looks about right, so let's see, let's see how we go with this. I'll put an undercoat on, shall we? I've seen some action in this, 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 this castle over the, over the century, you know. The, 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 the Scots and various things and, and the, the, the marauding people from off the, off the continent. All, all how they go, you know, they all like to clash swords and do what they do. They want their bit of land, don't they? The Claymores and, and the Vikings, they, they, were, they were at it as well. They're all at it. And then they settle down, which is nice. Right, let's do a bit of sculpture on this, this rock formation now. So I'm going to do some that raw sienna and this time we're going to put, add some some of that burnt umber to it let's just give us a give us a nice mix there the sculpturing Of course, if the light's from that side, you're going to get sculpting also on a piece there. That, that roof across there, I think that's, that's like a, a, a pantile type roof. So I'll leave that bit and we'll do some more sculpting around here. That piece is it, it's been shaped from that there and will create a shadow there. Let's I'll do that pantail roof first. Then we can see where we're going. I got myself in a mix here. That's on that rooftop here. on this one here. Chimney pot. Right, let's try to touch more now. That's the, the reds in. I want some sculpting on that. Add a bit of blue to it to get some more, some more dark. And this this back area is, is in shade, so I want to put some dark into there. is also shadowy. On this side of this pillar. It's dark. Get some darks on this one.
So the castle's out. Oh, there's another dog down the side of this one. But not as dark as that one. Shading on, on top of here, like this. And this is sort of a bit, bit more or something like that. Let's touch that more of that in. Seems to come down here like this. Like a dry brush technique. I'm using the rigger actually. To just pull some of this, this here colour down. Give it that oldie worldy look. Now these rocks here they want sorting out in the foreground. So more we'll burnt umber into that. Pinch a touch of that French ultramarine we've got. Let's sculpt you some of these rocks. The light's coming from the right, so we're going to have to get some some rock formations down here, like this, right down to the water's edge. Just keep sculpting the these pieces down here, the rock formation. Now a lot of this castle here is, is, is in shade, so we, we better put some shade in there. Let's see if we can just we'll put it in shade that. That's this piece here. No, but I still retain that that colour there because it's a it's a transparent blue ultramarine to uh, and that'll leave the underlying colours visible there. So that, that that's that's fine.
a bit there. This is part of the cattle. I think that uh, this side will benefit by a bit more shadow there. I'll let it do a bit more. And some windows in as well, so I better put some windows in there. I see where they go in, don't they? Turn on these rocks a bit more now. Let's do a bit more sculpturing, shall we? Bit of that that grass on there might help just to and some of these crevices here like this. some of this out, it's going to be bored to bore the pants off you when I'm doing these bits, these fiddly bits. I'll quicken it up, don't worry. Right, the light's coming from the, from the right, so the under the arches will get a, a shadow, won't we? Like that. and neat if you can the curve to your right I think there's a flagpole about somewhere on this point here so just put a flagpole in there somehow mix a touch of gouache for that that'd be nice Gosh, it's nice if you can use it. See if my hand's straight enough to do it. I 
there it is and what about one here as well I know I'm, I know I know there isn't but I'm I just feel that one on this pillar here do I put any more in no What about a flag? Oh, we need a flag, don't we? Yeah. I've thought about reflections in here, but the the, the, the weather's too dark and all that. You, you wouldn't need it. It's too suppressed. So let's see if I can... Uh... No, I don't suppose I will. It's, it's, it's kind of... I'll put one or two little bits of... Put a bit in here like this. Keep them nice and flat. Because the water doesn't, doesn't go uphill, does it? Shall I put a flag on? Do I need a flag on? I ask myself. Do I need a flag? I think so. Just a just a just a bit of colour. That'd be nice. Fred's jumper. That'll do. Got a Fred's jumper. I will stick a flag on it. Cadmium red. My favourite red. One on this one as well. I have them both the same size because otherwise the wind's blowing in different directions, isn't it? Now I'm fiddling now, I'm messing about. So that, folks, is our our interpretation or my interpretation of Eileen Donan Castle in the Scottish Highlands on the Kyle uh, Lochish Loch House. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is where where three uh, three great sea lochs meet, uh, the surrounding uh, just at this point. And it's it's a, it's a strategic point which has been fought over for years. But uh, I've enjoyed painting it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give me a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. So until then, folks, goodbye. Goodbye.